Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be an exciting new series today. Today, sorry, these are my notes. Today we're gonna be uh, talking about the top 10 largest wind farms in the United States as of September 14th, 2021. This is an article by John Engel. So I know there's some other um, sites out there that might list different ones. So this is the one I could find. So we will begin to now. All right. Instead of going from one through 10, I'm going to go through from the bottom to the top, which is number 10. Number 10 is the Texas Gulf Wind Repower in Kennedy, Texas. That wind farm is owned by Pattern Energy Group. It was an old, this is an older generation wind farm and they upgraded in 2019 of December. With all the upgrades, it has got a capacity of 271 megawatts. Um, it is currently owned or invested in by the Canadian Pension Plan Investment Board, which I totally disagree with. I don't think a foreign government power should be able to invest in our infrastructure. Over the next 25 years, it is expected to contribute $90 million to the local economy through tax and landowner payments. Number nine is Los Medes Wind Project, which is also in Wilkesee, Texas. That is owned by EDF Renewables, has a power capacity of 272 megawatts. This one is an investment firm of the country of Abu Dhabi. which I totally disagree with. That's a foreign government, again, so they shouldn't be allowed to invest in our infrastructure. Number eight, which is the Aurora Wind Project, which is located in Williams, North Dakota. The, um, the Aurora Wind Project is owned by Enil Green Power. It has a... Uh, Generation capacity of 1.3 terawatt hours, which can power over 100,000 homes. Number seven, Milligan One Wind Project, which is located in Saline, Nebraska. This project is a capacity of 299 megawatts of power. It is owned by the Anil Group, like I said earlier. Number five, sorry, number six, is the Neoshu Ridge Wind Project, which is in Neoshu, Kansas. This has, owned by the Liberty Utilities, it has a 300 megawatt power capacity. This is expected to generate savings of $169 million over a 20 year period and over 300 million over a 30 year period. Number five is in Deal Harvest Wind Farm in Deal, South Dakota. This is owned by Southern Power. It has got a capacity of 301 megawatts. Number four, Frontier Wind Power 2 Project, Kiata, Oklahoma. This is owned by Duke Energy. It has a Capacity of Frontier 1 and 2 have a capacity of a generation of 550 watts of megawatts of power. Number three, Isabel Wind Project. Isabel Wind Project is owned by Apex Clean Energy, which has a capacity of 384 megawatts and is located in Isabel, Michigan. Number two, 
Jordan Creek Wind Farm, Warren, Indiana. This one has is owned by Next Era Energy, which has a capacity of 400 megawatts. This is located in Warren, Indiana. And number one, number one wind farm in the whole United States is, according to this article, is Maverick Creek Wind Project in Conco, Texas. This project is a 492 megawatt project. It's located in Conco, Texas. It's a 15 year project purchased between Roaring Fork Wind and RES Steelhead Americas. So thank you, that's it. That's the top 10. Once again, the top 10 uh, of wind farms in the United States are from 10 to one is the Texas Gulf Wind Repower, the Los Majas Wind Project, Number eight is Aurora Wind Project. Number seven, Milligan One Wind Project. Number five, Dual Harvest Wind Project. Number four is Frontier Wind Project Two. Number three, Isabel Wind Project in Isabel, Michigan. Number two, Jordan Creek Wind Farm in Warren, Indiana. And number one, Maverick Creek Wind Project, Conoco, Texas. Now, just to understand, since this article has been published, it is now November, so almost December, so more stuff's come online, so it's possible that these stats have changed or a different location has taken over to one of the top ten. So, please understand that this is not the concrete list, it's just a list that I found online. All right, if you like the video, please leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe, and let me know. Thank you. Bye.